And we are back with our next guest here at Make It Make Sense. Y'all know that we talk to the movers, shakers, and the tastemakers. And today we have the beautiful... Dominique Simone, down yes. in the city. Yes. 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 So can you tell the people who you are and what you do? My name is Dominique. I go by Damo. Um, my little slogan is like plugging you into the city. Damo in the city. Mm -hmm. It was inspired by Sex in the City. I grew up watching that. Um, and so literally this has been my like business for I think since 2016. I kind of started it right out of college. I have a degree in radio, TV and film and I noticed that there was no E! News, no BET. I mean, thank God that y'all are here. Right. Yeah. But at the time, it, there was nothing like that. And so I was like, why won't I just plug the people into the city? And so mm -hmm. that's where Down on the City came about. Yeah. And it's been cool because I've been able to expand like from that to being like a private chef. I did modeling, uh, TV hosting, acting in L.A. Came back home recently within the last two years with my... Um, with my family business, which is just really all of our family recipes that mm -hmm. I turn like vegan or gluten free or soy free, wow. dairy free. If you have any allergies, I can just go into the lab and just hook you up. You yeah, know, yeah. I do meal prepping, events, um, private dinners. Yeah. So it's been a really cool experience. I kind of getting back into like the entertainment now that I've been here for two years. I was just on set like a few weeks ago and that was really cool. So I'm just excited to do a little bit of everything. I like to just be the problem to one that you can't be put putting in a box, I guess you could say. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, I love that. Okay, so we got you here for food today, right? Yeah. That's what we're gonna be talking okay. about. Okay, okay so. How did you know, when did you know you were good, and at what age with the cooking? Because the food is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it's amazing. I wish I would have brought some. Maybe I can do that <laughs> next <Yeah>. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, last, the, the last time I was here with the Flex cast, yes. Yes. Um, they got a chance to try like a full meal. It was like Thanksgiving in here. It was Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I keep know. rubbing it in, but it was no so cookies, good. No Thanksgiving meal. Like, it's like Thanksgiving meal. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. But I'm going to be doing my little sample drop-offs this week, so maybe I can bring y'all some. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll be here. <laughs> She'll be wherever the food is at. <laughs> I love that, girl. But what, what really got me started was just, like, cooking with my grandma and my mom. We were always cooking for a holiday, a birthday, or just for fuck's sake. Like, literally, it was just something to do. It was how we, it was how we bonded. Mm -hmm. um, women in the kitchen, you know, not gossiping, but just, like, empowering each other, laughing, giggling, coming yeah. up with recipes, and everybody got a chance to eat. And when I moved to L.A. by myself, and like 20, uh, what was that, 2017, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm so hungry because like literally there was no soul food that I was like really into. And then I got all these food allergies. And so I was like, damn, I'm allergic to gluten, I'm allergic to soy, I'm allergic to corn, I'm allergic to red meat, peanut butter. Um, <sighs> What can I eat? <laughs> like, I was hungry. <laughs> so I like went into the lab. That's what I call it. I literally call it the lab. I was in the cannabis industry at the time. So yeah. after Fat Blunt, you know, you just get creative and go into the kitchen yeah. and start whipping it up and coming up with some amazing flavors and mm -hmm. started hosting um, all the holidays back home and even with my friends in LA. And they were like, girl, this is some good gluten free fried chicken. Like, right. this yeah. is some good. You sure ain't no damn gluten right. here. <laughs> And I literally, that's that's how it, like me just seeing my family's excitement, my friends' excitement, yeah. and my contracts kind of came to an end. With I was working at the, um, I, I was kind of like modeling slash working for Playboy at their their Playboy store in Beverly Hills. Okay, okay. yes. But you know, God God had a different plan. Yeah. yeah. So that contract came to an end. Mm -hmm. My other contract came to an end with Hennessy. I've always been a liquor brand ambassador. Shout out to our uh, whatever. To the train. Yes. yes. <laughs> to what we said. From, but I was with Hennessy in, in L.A. That contract came to an end. Mm -hmm. uh, I was bartending in uh, Sunset Boulevard. That came to an end at, at, at a cool place. But and so to say the least, like I was living in El Sereno and this is like one of the first cities ever kind of created in LA. Mm -hmm. And El Sereno is like mostly Latinas and you can't go any block without them hustling, cooking. They got tacos, they got empanadas, they got quesadillas, whatever you want, like breakfast mm -hmm. tacos and um, when I lost all those contracts, I was like, hmm, because I was watching like an episode, I think, on Netflix or and it was called like street food. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm surrounded by street food. Why would not I just give this a shot? Mm -hmm. And so I literally took my chalkboard, wrote a menu, went out front of my house. Uh, my ex-boyfriend at the time, he came home and he was like, oh, wow, like you really taking this serious. And he mm -hmm. helped me. And it was like awesome. Literally, I just started posting 
that I was doing this. And within like the first or second night of me posting it, um, since I was big in the cannabis industry doing sales, mm -hmm. um, a few of the dispensaries were like, girl, that look good, come cook that up here. And I was like, are y'all serious? Yeah. And it literally just started like that. Um, That's amazing. I got, got that opportunity to just hold it down for Soul Food Saturdays, Soul Food Sundays, Fry Fridays. And it was a cool menu of like, people who got munchies, they coming out, they, they ready to eat. Yeah. <laughs> they ready to eat, yes. And they don't have to cook it themselves, yes. Yeah, they were so and excited. And they don't buy every damn thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's something I, I really suggest, don't go grocery shopping like high, because you will get... <laughs> stuff that you ain't got no Stuff that you don't need. Mm -hmm. So it was like... <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> you end up going at home. You're like, what is all of this? This is not even on the list. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes stuff that don't go together. <laughs> yeah, it, it just felt good and it was smelling good and looking good mm -hmm. at the time while you yeah. were in the store. But I mean, that was a really cool experience. Um, they kind of challenged me at these dispensaries, though, because these are real. Uh, LA is very big on like wellness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they really wanted to make sure that I was using vegan cheese, that I didn't have egg in the batter. So mm -hmm. I had to figure out, okay, how can I get certain things to rise without egg? Um, mm -hmm. How can I make my own vegan cheese? Because the vegan cheese in LA is like $10 a bag. We're not about to do that. Yeah. We're not about to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to figure out how to make my own vegan cheese with like cashews. Like this became like an actual skill yeah. that was kind of challenging in a fun way. So I just, you know, started uh, reading, educating myself. I haven't been to actual like culinary class mm -hmm. i'm more of like i wouldn't say like a hood cook but uh, I, I like grew up with within the family yeah. but i really think i i think on my next phase i will kind of take it more seriously and maybe get some type of certification underneath my belt just so i have more credibility when i'm out there but yeah. it's in the taste of the food when i see people losing their shit I just feel so like uh, I, I feel like I know I'm doing the right thing mm -hmm. um, because I recently with doing entertainment, cannabis and all these different, you know, sides of my life. I realized I really want to be in a place where I can serve Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and so wherever I can serve Jesus, that's where I'm in true alignment. Yes. Yeah. And when I'm cooking and people are like. I cannot believe that this is gluten free or this is dairy free. Like, um, I even did some cool stuff for Afro Latina Month, which is this month. I did like elote mac and cheese, which is a combination that you really wouldn't hear, but mm -hmm. they like elote, we like mac and cheese. Why yeah. not put the two together? Yeah. And it was it was a bus, you know, and just seeing people's reactions um, at events, it's just it's it's awesome. Yeah. I know that yeah. shit was period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what? Um, you recently worked with. The NFL retired committee, right? Yeah, my oh, cousin. Okay. Shout out to my cousin. Shout out to my family believing in me. They're my huge support system. Yeah. Uh, my cousin, he's been in the NFL, been playing football his whole life, and yeah. he recently retired. Mm -hmm. um, and he joined this community called the Pro Athletic Community PAC. Right. And they had like a cool networking party, I think a few months ago. Uh, I was fresh out of a breakup, got a new wig, I was ready. You know what <laughs> I did my makeup, I got dressed very business, very business casual, you know what I'm saying? And I had my business cards and I was ready to just put my business out there. And it was such a gratifying experience. Everybody was so welcoming. Um, we had great food, it was at a nice venue. And when I got a chance to talk to some of the executives over a few drinks, their main question was, if you had, if money wasn't an issue, what would you be doing right now? And I told them the exact thing that I told y'all. Like, I, I actually want to be in a space where I'm in alignment, where I can serve Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like I can do that with my food. I feel like I can do that with kind of like, um, if I get back into entertainment, I'm going to have boundaries mm -hmm. on what uh, roles I, I select and what jobs I'll do. Mm -hmm. But just having those boundaries now, I've always represented myself, never been with like an any of these big mother agencies or anything like that. But I've had billboards, been on runways. And, yeah. and even with my food and catering business, it's starting to take off. I'm doing partnerships with the NFL, with our local Pilates and, and bar community or bear community. Is it bar? It's bar. I'm sorry. I only, I've, I've only had two classes. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm just, I'm trying to just throw myself into different avenues of what I've always loved. Uh -huh. um, but just being able to like being able to educate people about gut health and mm -hmm. then doing yoga or um, being in like wherever there's wellness, that's where I'm trying to be at pretty much. Yeah. And so it's just cool to be able to be in that space. The retirement community community right now and the NFL, they have um, like this really cool organization called PAC that allows them to either become a real estate um, like expert or an entrepreneur expert. Mm -hmm. And they pair them with like a, um, a like a mental health coach. She's amazing. I met her, a black mm -hmm. queen, and she was like, 
you know, help cult cultivating their minds, giving them personal development mm -hmm. um, exercises, and they were working through all kinds of things. And it was cool to see like grown men healing. Uh, flourishing yeah. um, and so with that aspect they're also putting in a little chapter for like wellness so I was like how, how about I do like a little pop-up and I can show them ways that they could um, eat you know their food vegan or dairy-free or yeah. um, I also offer cooking classes for them mm -hmm. I also offer just like free consultations and so they were um, I'm just so excited they're gonna be putting it on the website soon I just sent them all my digital assets that's yeah. amazing okay, okay. <laughs> so what's sharing. next for you, I mean, obviously the wellness mm -hmm. class with the PACP. Mm -hmm. I, I just gave it a whole acronym, but um, pack, pack. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. That. Um, so, what's next for you after that? Um, or with that? Well, I think they're going to be having pop-ups globally starting mm -hmm. in 2025. Okay. And I would love to be a part a part of their tour. And we yes. were like talking about it, so I'm just, you know, when I'm putting in the work, there's a lot of faith as as a, as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So, I'm putting in the work and they seem to to say like that yeah that they would love to do that i'm hoping that it happens yeah 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 um and so that would be amazing yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's amazing. and i got a chance to meet like i've never really been big on like the nfl so i was around all the players but it wasn't like i was like geeked out because i didn't really know who they were i just know uh -huh. my cousin yeah um but i'm used to being around celebrities especially being in la i did uh -huh. i don't know if y'all know i did private security for a little bit oh okay got a She's chance a to do many hats okay. <laughs> you gotta hustle when you in la okay. like literally they needed models on the red carpet for grammys and uh -huh. other like uh showcases that needed like security instead of the camera zo zo like zooming in on someone who may not be as fit it would be someone who looks a little bit better in the suit. Uh -huh. And yeah, it was cool to be able to have the opportunity. I got a chance to do private security, sh uh, security shortly for like Rihanna at one of her uh, events where ASAP Rocky was like DJing, and that was cool. Got a okay, yes. yeah, <laughs> got a chance to meet so many cool people, you know. And um, so when I'm in front of celebrities or when I'm in front of big brands, I don't get intimidated anymore. If anything, I'm excited, and I just. Um, I'm just excited to be having a seat at the table, but with my business, because I've been brand ambassador for a long time. Mm -hmm. So now that I get to brand ambassador for my business, mm -hmm. um, it's just hitting different. Yeah. 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 Well, can you please let our viewers know at here, make it make sense, where they can find you if they want to contact you when it comes to ambassadoring, um, food, uh, you know, anything with cannabis, all of that. Let them yeah. know where they can find you and contact you. Um, so my Instagram is Damo in the City, and that's pretty much all of my modeling, TV hosting, acting. I do show my uh, food and catering business as well on there. But if you want to know more about like my food podcast that I will be revamping, hopefully by the end of this year I'll get it back going. I just created the set from home. Um, that's Damalicia Soul Food Views, yes. and all the events where I'm doing pop ups in the city. Um, I just got an opportunity to go back to LA and do like an infused cannabis dinner with one of the dispensary partners So I'll be posting that soon hopefully in December um, And yeah, just just keep me in your look keep me in your book <laughs> Yeah, um, and I would definitely love to you know Just communicate and educate and teach people how to really conquer this whole gut health because we deserve to have like amazing flavors But our waist be small. Yes, period. period. <laughs> Y'all clap it up for our girl Damo. Woo! Y'all don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our next guest.